The next stop is Eversham Interchange. Hello everybody, how's it going? It's Eamon here. Hope you're all doing well out there. We're back today with some more OMSI 2 for you guys. And today we're back in Yorkshire County's 3.0. And it's a nighttime run tonight, guys. Um, we're going to be driving the N14 to Inglesborough Arcade. Um, so we're going to be doing the... Uh, it's a night run. I think it's like 30 minutes long. Um, and um, it's a lovely summer's evening. <clears throat> summer's night. It's 1am. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's 1am. And uh, we're going to be hitting the road in the Veeling in the Yorkshire Terrier uh, repaint. Um, I'm doing a voiceover on this video, so I'm not actually talking while I'm driving. Um, I just wanted to say a few things um, before the video starts. This run is really, really nice, guys. Um, I'm not just saying it because um, I've, I've done it already because of voicing over, but this run is like... It's so it's such a good run. The frame rates are fantastic. The lighting, the lighting itself is, is Hello, wonderful. Um, there's what? never any of them kind of really dark streets. Hello, um, and if there is dark like it? country roads, hang on, I'll wait for these to stop talking. If there is dark country roads, um, you can put your flashers on your high your high uh, your high lights, but um, <clears throat> your high beams, but. You have cat's eyes on the road, um, so Cider has put cat's eyes on the road, so you can actually see see the road, the middle of the road. Not that it's really, it's not really dark. Um, everything is just lit up, you know. Um, it's really, really, it's a wonderful drive. Um, it's a quiet drive. Um, not there's there's a few people here and there. Um, it's I stop at most stops, uh, and I pass some stops as well. But it's a uh, it's, it's a really enjoyable drive. Um, I think this route is going to be very popular with the when the map comes out. I think a lot of people are going to drive this run. I think mainly because it's not like you know on some maps when you have a nighttime run but it's really dark you know and you just you just don't enjoy it because it's such just such darkness um where with, with with this run this is what you get what you're looking at now is kind of there's just light light maps everywhere you know and it's it's lit up really nicely um and i think it gives the, the an overall Hospital. more enjoyment of the um of the of the run you know so i think that the night run is going to be really really nice um, it's going to be really popular. Sorry, it is really nice. Um, so, so yeah. Um, and just on another note, um, this will be the last video I will be showing of Yorkshire Tree um, until release date. Um, mainly because, not because I was told not to. Um, I could go on and do do more routes, but I just feel as though I'm giving a little bit too much away when I'm I'm doing videos like this. So I want to kind of take a little kind of step back and just just kind of give you something to look forward to because if you're sitting here looking at my videos, when the map eventually comes out, um, you just kind of know what to expect and I don't I don't want to kind of ruin the surprise. I know I'm a YouTuber and I should be kind of, you know, um, I should be okay with doing videos and showcase and stuff, you know. But in one part is like yeah, that's that's the right thing to do because you're going to get a lot of views and you're going to get a lot of. Uh, a lot of likes etc but then the other part is like but you're gonna ruin it for the guys as well I, I don't mean ruin as in like it's gonna like end your world I just mean I like you to kind of look forward to something and be surprised so that's probably the main reason why I don't want to be uh to be showcasing every route you know because this video was a it was a toss-up between this and the park and ride you know um but I, I voted for the night run because I didn't do a night run um so I want you to kind of be be surprised and look forward to something that I haven't shown you or someone else hasn't shown you. Um, so that's mainly the reason why this will be the Hello, last mate. Yorkshire video um, oh, until down. release date. I don't know when release date is. I I, I don't know that information. Um, but judging by what we can see here when we're driving, the map looks phenomenal. It looks um, it looks well done. It looks it looks polished. You know, it looks really cool. You know, you can always tell how nice a map looks when it's so nice at night time. You know? Road. So that's the main reason why um, this this will be the last Yorkshire two video, uh, Yorkshire three video. Sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm gonna leave this here and let you enjoy the nice drive. Um, there's no point in me talking over forever, forever. There's there's no news. Um, there's nothing really happening within Omsi. Um, not that I know of. Um. So I have nothing in the pipeline in terms of content, exclusive content. I was thinking of buying some DLCs if they're on sale. Um, some that I haven't done before, um, like German or French ones. I'll see, um, just to bring us more content, but I'm not sure. Um, 
Ali Khan have seemed to have forgot about me, so um, after all the translating I did. The next stop is <laughs> um, So yeah, I'll see. I'll see what happens next. Um, let's see what. Oh. It's fantastic. This bit. I'll wait for this bit to be over. see that that right there is fantastic I don't know if you's you have to think the same as me that that right there that whole interaction there with the radio it's just brilliant that that's what kind of sets this on another level you know it brings more realist realism to it it's more realistic you know saying that there's a slip road in Winhaven we're heading that direction now so we know there and then what's to come there's so many of them little things around the map and little kind of radio chatter that if I, I don't want to spoil them all for you, you know. Um, in my recent video, there was one where when you go into Inglesborough Leisure Centre, it says there's a boy missing on the seafront. You know, it's like, it's just unbelievably fantastic. Um, it really is. It's like, it just takes the map to an, an, another level, you know, and it takes the whole realism of it to another level as well. Um, so that's that's a that's just a fantastic addition to, um, to what's already a fantastic map, you know. So guys, I'm gonna leave it here on the motorway. Um, I will talk to you again in the next video, whatever that'll be, whenever that'll be, I don't know. Um, probably will be this week at some point, but I'm not sure if it'll be Omni or if it'll be something else. Um, so yeah, so guys, thank you as always for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll talk to you all again in the next video. Thank you, enjoy. Ah, yeah. The next stop is Windhaven Church Lane.
The next stop is Windhaven Bottom. Hello there. Hello, lad. The next stop is Windhaven View. The next stop is Higher Windhaven. The next stop is Windhaven Bank Hill. The next stop is Elena Road. Ah, yeah. Good day, driver.
The next stop is St. Augustine Church. The next stop is Blackwell Lane. The next stop is Ramos Takeaway. The next stop is Batsby Woods.
The next stop is Wavesworth Garden Centre. The next stop is Wavesworth Carriageway. The next stop is Wavesworth College. Hi, yeah. The next stop is Wavesworth Interchange. The next stop is Parish Square.
Hello, Hello there. Is it me you're looking for? The next stop is Parish Lane. Ah, oh, yeah. The next stop is Wavesworth Parade. Ah, oh, yeah. The next stop is Upper Wavesworth. The next stop is U Tree Road. The next stop is Leisure Centre Crossing. Ah, oh, yeah. The next stop is Ingleborough Crossing.
The next stop is Ingleborough Town Centre. This is a group call for mobiles. Uh, we've got a missing child report. Um, the child is 10 years old, blonde, as uh, last seen wearing blue shorts and a red t-shirt. He's missing from Ingleborough Seafront and he's fascinated with buses, so he may have boarded any. If anybody has seen this child, please can you just call either the garage or myself Hello there. on a one-to-one. -one. So just to confirm, a 10-year-old child is missing on Ingleborough Seafront. Uh, it's blonde hair, glass wearing blue shorts with a red t-shirt and he is fascinated with buses, so he may have boarded your vehicle. Please can you all keep an eye out for it and give us a call on the one to one Hey, thanks. Place it up. The next stop is Seafront Arcades. Morning, sweetie. 